Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Designer and select the Rectangle tool. Doesn't have to be, of course, it can be any shape, any vector shape. Just create that vector shape. And now what you need to do, just go again over to the Tools panel in Affinity Designer and select another one. And I'm just gonna go with Circles. And I'm just gonna create a couple of circles. Now I'm gonna move this one out of the way slightly because what I wanna do is create multiple copies of this. So I'm just gonna create, and you can resize them, you can move them around, create all kinds of different designs. And then, once you've done that, you can group them. Makes it very easy to work with. So right click over here in the Layers panel and go for Group. So it's grouped. Now you can duplicate that. So hold down the Alt or Option key and duplicate that. And resize that if you want, move it around. And you can create multiple shapes. And also you can, of course, add some additional ones as well. You don't have to add things. You can resize them, you can rotate them, etc and select those, and again, over here, you can group that. Just makes it easy to manipulate. So again, select those, and move that around, resize, and so on. Now I could continue for ages doing that. Once I've done that, again, I'm just gonna group those. Then I can go over here and edit and cut, and now bring that shape in. And with that shape, what I can do, I can paste it inside. So edit and paste inside. Now, of course, it's the same color, as the parent, so you can see the parent there, that's the children, and I can resize that design. But also what I can do, I can go over here to that little FX, just down the bottom of layers, the layers panel, and I can go for 3D, just set 3D on. And you can then change the radius, and you can see what happens, you've got this design there. Also you can go there, and you can hold down the Alter Option key again, and just duplicate that design. And you can repeat this over and over again, and just move that around and you can see what happens. You end up with this really wonderful sort of texture or depth to your design very quickly. Now, what you can also do is again, select all those, right click and group again. So they're all grouped and you can move it around if you want to do that. But also what you can do, you can go to your rectangle up here. You can resize this. To, now, you'll notice what happens when I resize that, it moves with that. So if I rotate that design, you can see it moves with it. However, if you don't want that and you want to reposition it, we can do lock children. Just go there and then you can move that around and you can see those spots, those dots stay in the same position. Okay, so you can reposition it if you want. Now I generally have that off, but you can see then got that design there. And of course, then you can manipulate it again, apply effects and much, much more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.